Hey, happy Sunday. Hello and welcome to our cooking keto with love show today on the Sunday. How are you? How's everyone doing? Good morning. Good afternoon to those joining us here. Good morning. Hello. Welcome again to our keto cooking happy with Sunday. love. Happy Sunday. Welcome to all of our goals and and uh do you know who we have our spooky, our spooky yes. keto Halloween party today. Oh, look at this fog. Look at this Love fog it. on this glorious day. And so welcome again. For all of you joining us, we have an amazing Halloween party, okay? Ooh. For you today, we're gonna have some cool, delicious drinks. The recipes are down below. If you're watching on YouTube, the, uh, um, the recipes will be linked as soon as this live is over. So happy Sunday to happy you. If, Sunday, you're, yeah. if you're joining us on uh, on YouTube, if you're watching us on Facebook, the recipes are printed below. And we all got dressed up for you. For this festive occasion, <laughs> all right? So. So I just wanna say first and foremost to all of those that wish me a happy birthday. And of course, on our engagement, we didn't um, actually say that last time, but we do thank you again for wishing us the best and wishing me um, happy birthday wishes and a lot of great, great messages. Thank you, Absolutely. thank you. It was, it was a huge, huge outpour throughout the week. Thank you, baby, so, yes. You outdid very... yourself. <laughs> and so, but today we're gonna do ourselves with the ultimate keto Halloween party, all right? And like always, we're gonna start with a cocktail. We're gonna do a smoky, Old fashioned, baby, a smoky Let's canela. See how that, I canela see how old you, fashioned. Yes, we have, we have some Mexican canela, which, which if you haven't had um, Mexican mm. canela, a lot of the canela that we have here in America is actually a uh, caskia bark. Um, it's not like real 100% cinnamon, but this Mexican canela, this Mexican cinnamon has a completely different flavor, and we're gonna use that to smoke up our drink today wow, now okay. can't wait to see the magic happen yes. in front of me so let me and get my mixing cup guys. let me get my mixing yes. cup honey we have in here usually we make a pitcher all right you need um ice for this one or? yes please okay. usually we make a pitcher all right but this recipe is going to be measured today we have our jiggle what jiggle who so today i'm christine and, and he's I. the phantom of the opera <laughs> Happy Sunday. So, the recipe is linked down below. Of course, I'm gonna triple that recipe. One, baby. I'll, I'll tell you right now. First, let's mix all our ingredients. And then, good afternoon for everyone that's joining us today. Good as, morning, good, good morning. afternoon. If you're just waking up, good morning. Happy, happy, happy <laughs> Sunday. And welcome to our Halloween uh, keto Ooh. party. Now, we have here some bourbon, some Maker's Mark. You can use whatever kind of bourbon or whiskey you like. I'm um, gonna we'll get the ice in a second, my okay. love. And then you know we always make a syrup. Oh, we have ice right here. Yes, we always make a syrup. Let me see this one right in front of my eyes. You see that? <laughs> it's like magic. We always make a syrup. Uh, this week Which the recipe. Which syrup did you do this week? I'm gonna week? tell you right now, okay. my love. This week the recipe below calls for a cinnamon syrup and a clove syrup, mm. but we actually made them together. So I have here. Let me. I made the syrup with some of our. Oh, look at Shadow just in time for the. <laughs> My for black the episode. cat just showed up. <laughs> All right, so we have our cinnamon and clove simple syrup. Oh, that smells amazing. Yes. Okay. Look at this. Where's my live at? Is that on your phone yet? Uh, your tag there. You can go to my, the channel. All right, so. I have here because I doubled my recipe. I have to add some extra syrup. Right, and beauteous. Ooh, is that gonna warm me up? It's a little nippy today. Mm. You got that another thing. Hi, Nicole. Welcome, and hey, you're doing Nicole. a fantastic job, by the way. Hey, Thank Nicole. you. You're doing Happy great, Sunday. amazing work you're doing. Thank and you. And I like that little gesture you did the other day with the um, cosmetics. All oh, she did the products, and she said how to put them in the freezer, and they do um, great work on your, you know, aesthetic. Our friend Nicole is amazing when it comes to skincare, so definitely check her out. Thank you. If you have questions for that, if you just join us, we're making a smoky, uh, old fashioned, a canela old fashioned. So we in, have baby. here, we made a canela uh, syrup with a swerve, like we do every week. We have some cloves in there, and we have our makers in here. I'm gonna add some ice, my love. And hand me a little fork from over there. 
I'm gonna give this a little swirl. And let's get some ice into our glasses over here. Actually, we're not gonna put ice in them yet. Yeah, okay. No, because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna smoke our drink. All right? We're gonna smoke our drink. We're gonna do it like here, like 20 revolutions. All right, beautiful. I'm gonna strain that into our cups. Look at this, baby. Ooh. For those joining us here, um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Happy Sunday. Thank you again, as always, for your support and joining us here every Sunday. Mm. Uh, gonna come out we're as a little short here, my yeah. love. <laughs> All right, so that's we're how it should be. 50-50, baby. Mm. All right, now. Okay. Let's we're gonna do something. Do we're gonna yes. try the drink before we smoke, so you can taste the difference. Okay. So here, cheers. Cheers, my This love. is our our Canela Old Fashioned with Maker's Mark. Ooh, it smells really good. Mm. Oh wow. Ooh. That's intense, right? Ooh. Yes. But it's it good. Hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, mi amor. We're just getting started. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of our Mexican Canela. We're gonna break that up into a little bowl. Where you going? Where you going, Shadow? She's up to something. She's like, now's my chance to go to the basement. Again, the, money train. the money train passes by. Let's move our canela to the side. Yes. And let's get our torch, okay? Ooh. Torch it up, baby. Now, more fire. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna smoke this drink to infuse some more of that get this started all right Look so we that. have our our torch here I'm okay, my baby. I'm okay, my. and i'm literally just move the cup away thank you honey you can see this at home Neither now you can light this wow. with a lighter with a long stick you know if you have one of these torches so what does that do when you burn the panela? Like We're basically going to smoke it. Like, you know when you're outdoors and you're barbecuing and you get that firewood scent? Right. You're going to infuse the smokiness of the canela. Mm. Add literally smoke into your drink. drink. Okay, so. Spectac Should I say spooktacular? <laughs> spooktacular. <laughs> now. Let's uh, quickly disband this so that we don't have any type of uh, mishaps. Mishaps. We're gonna bring our drink over here, and then we're gonna get our fabulous monster head. You can use some type of bowl or whatever you, some type of dome, and you're gonna cover this. To make sure. Oh. We're gonna, yeah. Oh my we're gonna God! Cover it smells this. so good. All right. Oh. So you're gonna cover oh. this for about one to two minutes, right? Ninety seconds. Okay. You can already smell that, yes, right? How intense it is. I love it. And that smoke mm. is gonna get, is gonna That's infuse. That's like a nice aroma to have in the house, actually. We exactly. It's like, it's like burning sage. Yes. It's a fall version of burning sage, all right? I can feel my dome here. And what we just did, we took the lid of a rice cooker. We make sure it was nice and clean. We inverted it. We put some foil around it. And then we got our friendly, our friendly mask here. Good afternoon, okay? Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Are Happy we Sunday. <laughs> Are we taking a break? <laughs> So, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us, Elizabeth. I'm going to set this off to the side, my love. And we're about to taste this cocktail. We're going to garnish it with an orange peel. Ooh. All right, so we just have this nice, beautiful navel orange. And I already smell the orange. Yep. So the essential oils from that are also mm. going to enhance the drink. And so now we're ready for our smoky Let's see. canela old fashioned. Drum roll. Oh, did you see that? Look so at lift that. them up, baby. Lift them up. All right. Amazing. It's and that just fantastic. Like that, just like that. You got a smoky drink. We have a smoky oh, drink. Oh, baby, you're so creative. We have our canela right here. I'm going to set this off to the side. All right, and that's how quickly you can impress your guests with a fancy drink. We're now we're gonna add ice into this. All right, beauteous. Yeah. Let's get some smoke. I love my little gadgets here. 
Now, hold on, baby. Before we okay. do that, okay? I'm just ready, babe. I you know, know, I know. There was one thing that I missed in the in the recipe, which was normally in an old fashioned, you would have a few uh, dashes of Angostura. Mm, in my recipe, so I use a little, little, little dash of vanilla. All right, and that's gonna add okay. depth of flavor, earthiness, a little bit, a little exactly. spice. Exactly, easy breezy. Did you see that? It's simple. Exactly. All the things you have at home, you could just make this. So Nothing we have fancy. a little, little drop of vanilla. There is my mm. light. One, two, three. This is so cool. Isn't that so cool? That in there. We're gonna heat up these. these so that just infuses the. Uh, We're warming up these warming up. It, mm -hmm. the essential oils in our drink, in our zest, and then to keep with our, we'll stir this, my love. You can stir Ooh. your cauldron with a little bit of this beautiful cinnamon, canela, Mexican canela. Shadow's just having a, a field day over there. <laughs> She's just doing whatever she wants, all right? So, how does it that look? It comes on and off. Yes. Beautiful. Cheers, Cheers. my love. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Mm. Oh my, this is so tasty. It's completely changed now, yes. right? This yes. mellowed out. A little, yes. With the ice. Slightly. Mm -hmm. You can get a little bit of that smoke flavor. You get the you orange. Me, I would have to add. A bit more. <laughs> you got some of that orange, baby. You see how the orange comes through right I love away? It. Yes, yes. So we have our smoky canela over here. Yes. And add into the, add into the, there. it's still going. Yes, it's all right. Going. So you can, just you can make it. more just drinks just with the amount that, that you made right there. You can smoke some more drinks. So now we're gonna get into our keto Halloween uh, party. Nicole, the head. The <laughs> That was just creativity there, my doll. <laughs> but what you don't know is that this head is going to come into play very, very soon because we're going to be making a shrimp cocktail monster brain. And so what we did is that to keep it simple, right? We got a bowl. This happens to be our rice cooker bowl, which we don't cook. We don't use any more rice cooker. Not really. <laughs> and so we inverted it. We got some uh, some foil on it, and we used it with a. With a mask. With a mask. And that was our dome to smoke our drinks. But in a little while, we're gonna invert this the other way. We're gonna turn this mask the other way. Give daddy a hand, my yes. love. All right. We're gonna invert this the other way. And we're gonna make an amazing shrimp cocktail. And this is gonna be our serving vessel right here. So we're just gonna take a, a clear bowl. Uh, glass bowl, yeah. a Pyrex bowl. So it's gonna serve like almost like. And we're like gonna the put brain. our shrimp right in here, and you're gonna get to eat the monster's brain. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. So. I love it. I love it. So let's put this off to the side. Today's menu, we're gonna start off, baby. Yes. With some spooky. Ooh. Pretty. Jalapeno mummy poppers. Okay. Sorry for that. How is it? Very good. Is it very, very, good? very good. Yes. All right. I knew, is it warming delightful. you up? Because it's uh, not I have some ideas. Like. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that is good. Hi, Ooh. Pammy. Hey, Pammy. Pammy. Happy Pammy. Sunday. Oh, my God. I was so pleased to hear from Pammy the other day. She made a keto pizza. The keto That's right. coconut flour. That's right. Uh, was it the coconut? No, the, um, the cauliflower, cauliflower crust. Cauliflower crust pizza. And Alexis. And, she did and Alexis. And my daughter, Alexis. It was like too. a whole week full of pizza. It was thank one day everybody was making pizza, keto pizza. That's I right. loved it. So thank you for joining us. Today we have our Phantom of the Opera. Say hola, Jose. <laughs> hola, hola, Pamela. <laughs> All right. So... We have, if you just join us, our smoky old fashioned. And guys, fashioned. share this. Share this with yes, everyone. Yes, please. Share this. Yes. Tell them, baby, if you just join us, we have our smoky oh, old yeah. fashioned. We have a little bit of uh, whiskey, bourbon. Uh, we did a, a, a canela, um, Mexican canela. If you never tried this before, you, you'll get this in your international or. Uh, uh, That's just aisle. nice to have in a house. It's oh my just god, a great it's, aroma. it's so amazing! It's a different, completely Can't different smell flavor. Smell it, but it's the... just like if you're walking into a store and it has cinnamon sticks all over. That's Pretty basically much. what it smells like. Pretty much. 
And so we used the canela and some cloves. We made a syrup. The recipe is down below. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we used, we burned some of that canela. We put it over and then we used our dome to cover it for about two minutes. And we got all that yeah. smoke into that we're, drink. We're gonna, um, it's amazing. We're the, spirit, the evil spirits away. <laughs> it's the new, it's the fall, it's the fall sage. Now, oh my God, it smells so good. our next recipe is that we have some jalapeno mummy poppers, okay? And so for this recipe, what we did was simple. Uh, Wanda Flores. Is joining us. She says good morning from sunny Florida. Hey, hey, talking about sunny Florida, should we tell them, baby? Yeah. We're gonna be in sunny Florida Just today. In a few hours. <laughs> we have a special keto cooking live in Miami tomorrow. Latin Miami nights. We're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing. <laughs> Do you want to surprise we're gonna be doing. Also. We're gonna tell you at the end of the show. Matter of fact, we're gonna tell you at the end of the show. We have a special episode tomorrow from South Florida. So stay tuned because we have something really, really, so after really the show, sexy. We gotta really run. sexy. All right. Now, hopefully the spider doesn't get us. We're gonna make some jalapeno poppers. Okay. Glennis Mark Almodavar. Hey, Glennis. We went to high school together. We uh, go back like, like car, seat. car seats. Exactly. And <laughs> her brother. You. Thank you. All of us. How you doing? Spellman in the house. Thank you for joining us, Glennis. Now, we have here, what we did was that we took some jalapenos, we sliced them down the middle, okay? Took a little spoon and de-seeded them. Now you can yeah. take out Just as much careful. seed or stem Don't as you touch want. Your eyes. After. <laughs> After you depeel it. That's how I got this mask. Okay? <laughs> That's how my the side of my face was burnt off. So you want to take out the stems and the seeds, but if you like it really spicy, you know, if there's a few seeds in there, I don't go overzealous, it's just a personal choice. What I have here is some cream cheese that we softened, some Philadelphia cream cheese, because we're in Philadelphia, but you can use whatever kind of cream cheese you like, and then some shredded cheese that you we shredded like. ourselves, whatever kind of cheese you like. We have some, uh, some shredded cheese, we use Jack Monterey, but you can use whatever kind of cheese you like, cheddar, and then shred it yourself, because that's gonna have less carbs, pre-shredded oh, cheese. So good. You like it now, baby? Yes, I don't know if it's everybody going missed you? the beginning of it, but it Tell was Tell them about it. It was amazing. So uh, he he burnt he down some a little bit of this Mexican canela and then he put it inside a bowl with the cups and it just created a smoky effect. We covered it with a dome. You can use any type of, you know, big lid. We use our rice cooker lid and uh, cover with a monster head. And that's how we did it. So you we got it. You can rewind it. We have our jalapenos here. And then what we did was, because bacon is my favorite vegetable, we haven't worked with a lot of pork on the show yet, but believe me, that's coming up. We filled our jalapeno poppers just using a spoon. You take some bacon, you can slice the strips in half if they're really wide, okay? And then you just secure them with a little, a little toothpick like you did earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put those on a sheet pan, you put them in your oven at 375 degrees, and then you cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes. You want to Just keep an eye on them. Just don't forget the toothpick is inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you bite into it. So now we'll put this all to the side. That's what our jalapeno poppers look out. And when they come out of the oven, ooh, that looks sexy. Let me get a towel because the fence is uh, not prepared. Elizabeth says she's surprised you're not using pepper jack. So. Uh, nice to meet you too, uh, Glennis. So oh, Elizabeth, to your point about the pepper jack, you can definitely use whatever kind of cheese you like. Since it's already going in a jalapeno, I got all the pepper I need. But you can use cheddar, you can use mozzarella, yeah. you can absolutely use whatever kind of uh, cheese you want. Like I said, whatever you want you you to shred it. Yeah. You want to shred it yourself because pre-shredded cheese has whatever more carbs. Whatever cheese is your preference. Really? And then you're going to bake them, like I said, oh, for 25 so 25 Ooh. to 30 minutes, and this is what they're gonna look like when they come Beautiful. out of your oven. All Beautiful. right, let me get a cooling mm. rack. I just want the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> let me get our cooling rack here. Let's clear this out the yes, way, my yes, queen. My love. All right, oh, so it's a beast <laughs> now. Those are our jalapeno poppers. We're gonna let them cool for a little bit. And this is still smoking. This is still smoking. This is still, still going. It smells so that. good. It's still smoking. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but it's smoking. <laughs> We're smoking, baby. Oh, yes, we are. Now. 
And that's the young man. No, I'm a, I'm a, I told you, at the appropriate time, we will make more, <laughs> my queen. Now, my love, let's put this here. We have our jalapeno poppers. You ready to taste these? Uh, sure. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get the toothpick out. Like you said, honey, it's going to be hot. Okay. Mm. All right? Okay, it's not that hot, but yeah. You can um, bite into it without. Mm. Now you just took them off when they were still, or they were ready. Like, well, it's cool out here. Yeah. But pretty much, they're ready to serve immediately. They take about 20 or 25 minutes. So, to give you a trick, I cooked them for 15 minutes before the show. And when we went live, I just started cooking for like another 8 to, of course. Eight to yeah. 10 minutes. So they were just perfect. So you can pre-cook them and have them just ready to go. When you get to show up, pop them in the oven, warm them up. And woo! If that doesn't warm you up, my queen, I don't know what will. That's how simple that was. Those are delicious. Ooh, they're spicy. I left a lot of the seed in there. Is there another one that I can bite into? Yes, baby. It's good, me. Nice and spicy. Let's take that um, stick out. Thank you. Mmm. So good. Oh my God. Mmm. Pretty easy to do too. A uh, jalapeno mummy poppers. Mm -hmm. mm. And it definitely will warm you up on a cool day. Mm -hmm. That cheese Woo! is so good. That All is right, delicious. Baby, what's the next thing? Our next recipe is our spider deviled eggs. Okay? Now, a few weeks ago, we had a tailgate party mm -hmm. and we had a fail mm -hmm. making our vegan mayo. Nicole was on and Nicole told me. You need to have a stick blender. Well, guess what I got today, Allie, Nicole? Allie, how are you, my girl? How hey. are you? Nice to see you here. Thank you. Um, Phantom of the Opera, Christine, of course, and the, the Phantom here. Thank you so much for joining us today, Allie. How you doing? Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining us on Keto Cooking with Love. We are... <coughs> You're good? That jalapeno oh. got to you? Woo! <laughs> now, I love spicy. I love heat. <coughs> I'm gonna show look at all this avocado oil in the building. Shout out to avocado oil and all those healthy fats that keep our brain and skin wonderful. So we're gonna make very quickly for you. We uh, we had a recipe for our tailgate party where we did a vegan mayo and we did a keto um, avocado oil mayo. Personally, even though we're not vegan from those two mayos, we really love we that did. vegan yes. mayo. Yes. It Pretty is good. so easy. So delicious. And we do have that coming up soon We uh, on YouTube. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have that video. We just have to, we just got to put it up. Yes. Now. Working gonna... on a few, <laughs> working. on a few assignments. Um, they will be uh, coming up shortly. So, honey, let me yes. plug in. Here, I got her, I got her main. You got it? I got it. All right, baby. I got her main. I got her main. <laughs> now. Happy Sunday, they're just joining us. Yes. We started off our spooky Halloween party with a smoky old fashioned that we made using Mexican cinnamon, Mexican canela, a little bit of Mexican and uh, cinnamon and clove syrup, Maker's Mark. We smoked that in a dome by burning our cinnamon. Then we had our jalapeno poppers, which, baby, these are popping. You want mm -hmm. another one? Yeah, bring it on, baby. These are popping. Bring it for on. Real. They're called poppers for a reason. Bring it on. All right, just some cream cheese, mm, uh, so whatever cheese you like after that, you baby. shred it up, throw up your jalapenos. Mm. Mm. Mm, it really, it right. really isn't that, but well, you cannot um, enjoy the taste, the flavors. It's not that hot, hot. Well, your if you don't like spicy. Like running and you're crying, mm -hmm. no. You can and so one it. thing about chilies, you know, chilies, whether it's shishito peppers, jalapenos, they're like snowflakes. No, no two are alike. You can get one that's mild, and the very next one can be the hottest pepper you ever got. So if you have an aversion to hot peppers, obviously you won't be having these. But if you don't, voila, they are delicious. Now, we're going to quickly make this vegan mayo so we can make the mix for our double eggs. So let me see our tablespoon mixers right here. And to make this vegan Thank keto you, mayo. Thank you, They were pretty easy to make. 
Pretty easy, simple. Just a Ooh. few minutes, a few ingredients, and that was it. Voila. Voila. So we're gonna use. Ali is a good friend of mine. She, uh, we go way back from Continental Airlines. Like car seats. <laughs> like, almost, not quite, <laughs> not quite, but yes. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Ali. It's a pleasure to meet you. And we're gonna use some of the water, the aquafaba, a little bit of this water from a can of chickpeas. Now, on keto, we don't use chickpeas because they're starchy and high in carbs, but we're gonna use a little bit of the chickpea water as our thickening <clears throat> agent in our keto mayo. So we're also gonna add to that a little bit of Dijon, Dijon just a little bit. Is there a, like what's a little bit, baby? It's a teaspoon. A the teaspoon. recipe's down below. So, you know, my, my brain uh, betrays me sometimes, but the recipe is down below. And to that, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, all right? I if wish I, we could put the Phantom of the Opera uh, the music song. <laughs> I know, would love that. The Phantom of the Opera. No point of no return, yeah. baby. <laughs> so he'll be back shortly. So, What's here I am. Is? Okay. Now we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. And if our knife would cut our lemon, that would be great. I got the dullest knife in the kitchen. <laughs> what happened? No, it's, you said Dallas knife? Dullest. Oh, Dallas. I was gonna say. What did you hear, baby? I heard what Dallas. I don't know why I heard Dallas. No. All right, so we have here, as Nicole recommended, our stick blender, our handy stick blender. Yeah, we invested in one so we could have it here well, yeah, uh -huh. correct. Then we can leave our one in New York to mama, <laughs> all right, for her foods. Thank now, you. hold this, baby. Yes. And we're going to quickly make our vegan keto mayo. And we have a little bit of- Hi, uh, Adrian. Hey, How Adrian. You, Happy honey? Sunday. How you doing? I'm going to be answering you soon, Adrian. Yeah, yes. All right. <laughs> now, Busy hold on, baby. Yesterday. Hold on. Don't start yet. Okay. Now, I'm going to get this incorporated. And my love is going to go here in a slow, steady stream. Slow, steady stream. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. Go ahead. Slower. Slower, slower, good job. Let me get our, that's beautiful, my love. You've done this before? A uh, few times All with right. your instruction, yes. All right, baby, that's why you're my keto master sous chef. Now. Good job. Keep going, this is gonna come together. We have three tablespoons here of chickpea water. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of mustard. It's okay, get close to me. Get close, both the oil and you, get closer. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, starting to emulsify. Gonna get thick and creamy. Hey, how you doing? Thank Happy you Sunday. Sir. Keep going, baby. All right, and once you get that emulsification going, you can go a little bit faster, but not too fast. There. Hey, hey, Leah. Now, you guys want a jalapeno popper? Yeah. Let me wake up. She's like, let me wake up before I eat a jalapeno. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Don't be scared. All right. Keep going, my love. Oh, okay. You can go a little bit more. more. Yep, you can go a little bit faster now. Not too much, but faster. Your fans that are here every week asking for you. You want to come say hello? The queen is here. The queen's in the building. <laughs> the oh my queen god. Of TikTok. Now we have our delicious, and then you just saw how quickly, <clears throat> with a stick blender, like Nicole said, you can make your look at this baby. Look at this. 
Look at this, honey. But you can make your own, Elizabeth Marcano. You don't have to spend that money. You could just make yeah, your own. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the pricing of avocado man at home. I mean, it's your great? choice, but I'm Isn't just saying, you, get, you know what the ingredients that come are going into it. And what better way to do your own? I would do. Need salt? Uh, you know, I'm not like a salt person, so to mm, me, it's perfect. Yummy. Yummy. To me, it's like a mayo, like what a mayo should be. So that's homemade mayo. Now, when you buy store-bought avocado mayonnaise, um, it's about $9 for a cup, cup and a half. When you make it at home, it's about 3 or 4 bucks for the same amount. So, avocado oil, you know, it's usually expensive, but mm. if you make your own mayo, it's a little you see spicy. how quickly like it is. Spicy, okay. You know, like, no, watch this the toothpick, watch this the toothpick. All right, now. Jalapeno poppers are done. The family's walking in. We oh, have our, there's a our mayo. Mommy, there's a toothpick, so make sure you take the toothpick out. Don't hurt yourself, there's girl. There's a toothpick right here, okay? Doing? We have there's our deviled the eggs. Now, now, now that we have our mayo, we can make our deviled eggs. Where's Alexis? Oh, All right. And let's move okay, to the side. You ladies want something to drink? <laughs> We got fruit punch in the fridge for the kids, and we were gonna make more drinks for the adults momentarily. So we have our eggs, we hard boiled them. We have them, we took out the yolks, which we have right here. And to that, we're going to add, <laughs> honey, can you get me a couple of gloves? Yeah, Mariana, where is, I uh, haven't seen you join us yet, but thank you and welcome to our show today, Mariana Vera. Oh, she it's said, Mariana I want from, some. from my building. Okay, Well, Mariana, girl, you have to come down welcome. to Philly. Put the kids in the van, let's go. All right, hey, how you doing? Oh, this is special, look who's in the building today. My love, look who's in the building today. Hey, oh, Nani. Come say hello to a million people, there's a million Come people here, watching. my girl, that's my other daughter. I don't think you've uh, met her yet. Let me and Nani say hello to our, our viewers this morning, this afternoon. This is Hi. my daughter, Nani. This is, <laughs> yeah. yes, my fourth daughter. <laughs> My singer, my uh, makeup artist. She's, yeah, she's just, you know, a big ball of fire here. Yeah. Love you sing you. for us? You're gonna sing. Oh, yeah, and she sings, yeah. Sing. sing. She's got her own channel. What is it, mommy? Like the Divine Vanity? Yeah. Divine Vanity. Yeah. You're, oh, you're, oh, she does lashes. Mm -hmm. And she does um, lipsticks. And she's humble. She's humble. With and she's it. A li yeah, she's humble. Cold. Did you call Alicia? Yeah, we all are humble. That's a good thing. About <laughs> Come here, mommy. Say hello to our viewers. Oh, you're leaving? Okay. I got a All right, so we have our keto mayonnaise, our vegan mayonnaise that's going into our egg yolks. We're going to put a little bit of paprika in here. And a little bit of paprika. We've got the family joining us on this chilly day. We appreciate everybody waking up to come and a Halloween party. We have the paprika, where's my All right, baby, let's my get ready to do the right monster here. mash soon. My Dijon <laughs> mustard is right here. If I was Dijon mustard, I would be right here. You just used it, my love. Yes, thank you, honey. Thank you so much. We're going to... Thank you, Elizabeth, thank you. Dijon thank you. mustard. We're gonna grate some cheddar cheese into our double leg mix. So again, if I was a non-sharp knife, where would I be? Well, the dullest. <laughs> the dullest. <laughs> the dullest knife. The dullest. <laughs> For those joining us here, we're doing a, a keto Halloween party. Halloween party. I'm showing you how you can do simple, healthy, uh, hors d'oeuvres for your friends if you're entertaining on this Halloween season. As I know a lot of people would be since we're living in a, in a whole new world. We're all ready to eat. <laughs> so I'm gonna grate some cheddar cheese and I always talk about buying and grating your own cheese. Not only is it a fun workout, you can get the kids involved, but also when you buy pre-shredded cheese, it has carbs on it, it has melodextrin and starches and different things that they use to... Extra charger? Yeah, no, we, we're sharing one <laughs> right okay. now. But uh, uh, Justin. Justin or Nani can yeah. help with Yeah, and tell that. him to come out with his mask. Tell Justin to come out with so his mask. So you were saying, baby, about the uh, Ma so pre, pre, pre Thank you, baby. All this, that pre packaged The pre -package, uh, when you buy pre-shredded cheeses, it is going to have, uh, you know, starches and carbs and different things that they put on there so that the cheese does not stick together. So you want to when possible, buy whole cheese and shred it yourself, okay? Baby, I'm ready for another one. You ready for another drink? I am. 
I am. Show, this is like the fun part. <laughs> All right, so why don't we do this, honey? Let's make another drink. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. You want a drink? Yeah, I'll take one. Amazing. We need a cup for the lady. I will get my jigger. We'll make and more drinks and we'll demonstrate once again how to infuse our drink with smoke. So we have our rice cooker bowl here that we wrapped in foil after we cleaned it properly, of course. And then we have our beautiful monster head here. This is gonna be our dome when we smoke our drink. I have my jigger. Hey. Hey. So of course, you know, we are enjoying our family getting together here every Sunday, joining us for our cooking live show. What better way to spend your Sundays with your family what did I and put you the guys, syrup, baby? friends? What syrup, my love? Our cinnamon syrup, our clove syrup. It's right here in my face. Is this the one? <laughs> that, 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 that should be the one, my love. Hiding in plain sight. All right, we're going to make more drink right here. I'm going to move this over to the little things. Actually, Thanks. make a little more drink. So we have our mix over here. I'm making more drink because we got more friends in the building. Mm. Guys, watch this. Oh, I think I tilted us too too far. That's all right, baby. We have to go the other way. So we just lean back. <laughs> lean back. Lean back. Now, all right, let's get all this booze out the way. Let me get a spoon, my queen. I will stir this concoction. I'm gonna add actually my vanilla in here this time. A little bit of vanilla. Oh my God, Jeff Jackson. Jeff Jackson's a coworker of mine Hello, from United Jeff. Airlines. How are you doing? How Happy are you? Sunday. Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna give this 20 Thank you revolution. For us, Jeff. How's the family? Can you kindly fix the camera? Yeah, Anisha? just slightly Every over. Week, if you're not Thank here. you. Like this? Uh, no, the, to uh, the right. The other, like this like way. This way. Yes, amazing. Sorry for that, guys. Thank you. Perfect. If you were watching us without drinking the V8, we were out of out of skew. So, uh, Ali, tell us what you learned about the shredded cheese, the sodium. <laughs> the uh, no, the uh, the, the, the carbs, the, the starches, the starches. The carbs that they yes. Use to, uh, yes, a lot of the things that we buy already prepackaged. Um, they contain. Just look at the labels. They contain um, let it added. Huh? Yeah, go ahead, go for it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I love that smoky effect. Now. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, can you guess who I am and who he is? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna smoke this whole drink right now. Oh, okay. Ali said what they used to keep it from sticking. I never knew that. Yes. Yes. That's right, because if you ever shred cheese yourself and you leave it in the container, you leave it in the fridge or just room temperature, it gets all clunky and stuck together. So when you buy pre-shredded cheese, voila, it doesn't do that. And that's because they use uh, carbs and um, like I said, so yes, a lot of people don't know that. There's a lot of things that food companies um, do that we don't know about. And I'm not gonna go on a tangent, but I'll give you an example. For a lot of people count carbs. Food companies don't have to use real math. You know, in school we learned that anything that's 0.5 or higher, you round up to one. For food companies, anything that has 0.9 grams or lower, they can round down to zero. Anything that has less than a gram of carbs, they can carbs. round down to zero. And so if something has 1.5 grams of carbs per serving, they can actually cut the serving size. So that when you look at the packet, it, yes. all you see is zero grams of carbs per serving. And in fact, you're intaking a bunch of carbs so without even knowing. this is just an educational show all we <laughs> here. We're here for the people. That's why we're the Keto Master I'm chef glad you tuned in, Ali. I really am. It's heartfelt. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So we have here our cinnamon canela. Oh, we, he's going he's gonna to show you. And we're we going earlier, to smoke, this, to smoke drink this drink right here. 
live. No, yes, Jeff, Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> You're such a smart guy. <laughs> Well, what gave it away? Jeff was a police officer way oh, back when. Those are keen, and, observ yes. those are keen observation yes. skills. Way back when in Cali, All right, right well, Jeff? we assure you, Jeff, that all the smoke here is created from our fog machine, Jeff, and nothing else. All right, now we're going to burn our Mexican cinnamon. Wait, wait. this here. Yes, my love. In a second. Yes. We have our monster head. We made it using our rice cooker because we don't cook Just rice anymore. So here. rather than throwing it out, we uh, refurbished it. And we're just burning our cinnamon here. Woo! Now, hold on, let me blow it out. Because we're going to smoke it. And I'll cover it with the monster head, my love. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna let that infuse with smoke, and that's our spooky old fashioned. Tip that's of the canela day. old fashioned. If you're just joining us, so now while that's cooking, thank you, Pammy, for sharing. I let's love, get I some love ice girl. in there. Love you, girl. Alicia. Oh, dame el otro, por favor. Let me get the other. <laughs> Doing the monster mash. Yeah, maybe? the monster <laughs> mash. It was a mash. Now I'm gonna mix my my mixture here. Where's the boys my, at? Look at that. Okay. Mr. Blaylas. Oh, okay. Our mixture here for our deviled eggs. I'm just gonna mix this by hand because you know me, I'm a Neanderthal. If something requires a All spoon, right, baby. Is this I think that means ready? a hand. Oh, this. Is this almost ready? Not yet. Give it okay, a second. Okay, give it a second. It's going to smoke in there. Let it really infuse as we combine a few drinks. Now, let's, let's get a spoon, honey, and taste this. There you go. And you can also do this in, in your food processor if oh, you prefer. Perfect. And not only that, you can actually do, uh, which I um, thought about. You can make you know, these in advance as well. Or with the chicken, uh, chicken so, buffalo yep, you can dip. do some you shredded chicken. Yeah. Some shredded, uh, if you have like leftover right. buffalo chicken. Be creative. You can shred it up and put it in there and make some buffalo chicken, mm, deviled eggs. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Now, baby. Our monster head is almost ready. Uh, whew, let's see here. Okay, so Jeff asks, question, is there any kind of rice that is considered more healthy, white, brown, or none? Love my sushi, stir so, fry rice, right? Is that, yes. Yeah. So, great question, great question. Is there any rice that's considered healthy? That's a, that's a subjective question, but for the purposes of keto, because that's what we inform people about, no rice is really keto friendly because it's a grain, it's a starch, and and basically all starches turn so into sugar in your body. So if we're talking about keto, then no, uh, rice is not something that we indulge in. We actually substitute and we make amazing recipes with cauliflower that we just simply grate. It's a lot quicker to cook. We have a, a, a paella recipe that we did. We did a coconut uh, rice last week, yes. or, or for our Jamaican, a Caribbean party with jerk salmon, jerk <laughs> eggplant. So no, there's no uh, rice that's healthy for the purposes of keto. Right, now, even if you're not keto, but you want to eliminate or you're you know, second guessing the Tell rice part. Tell them about part, the sushi, baby. Tell I them what do, we do. Yes, I do the, um, the um, oh my God, it just slipped my cucumber. mind. The cucumber wraps. I'll so when, do the cucumber sushi wraps or the... Um, so when we, when we go out for sushi, yeah. what we do for our rolls is A, we normally have sashimi. We have a lot of different raw fish. But also for our rolls, we ask them to wrap them in cucumber. Cucumber, um, yes. And if they can't wrap them in cucumber, then they would do a seaweed wrap. But on the inside, wrap. we yes, just do cucumber instead of rice. Thing. And it's yeah. delicious. You won't miss the rice, I promise you. Um, you can, you know, and again, some of the sauces that you have when you go out for sushi might have some sugar, some carbs. You know, we know that we're not going to get the cleanest uh, keto when we go out, and that's okay. 
but you can definitely, you know, just substitute the um, rice for uh, cucumber when you go to a sushi spot, and I promise you it's gonna blow your mind. Now, so if you just want, I, he wanted to know which rice was healthier than the yeah, other. Yeah. So about the rice again for the for the for the, for the purposes the for the purposes of keto for the for, for the purposes of keto, no rice is quote unquote healthy, but overall. Um, uh, whole grain rice will have more nutrients than a white rice which has been bleached or deprived of its nutrients. Yes, my love, uncover it. So here we have our smoky canela, old fashioned, yes. But we got more flavor in there. The smokiness in So we have, let's pour for the lady. Yes. And let's get a, a garnish. How you doing, Alexis? Hi, good. Come say hello to all your viewers. Um, not today. <laughs> not today. No. Not today. I mean, hi, viewers. <laughs> we were just talking because Pammy was here about. I'll have uh, the scariest costume. I don't want to outdo you guys. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. We, we were talking about. We were talking about Pizza Week. Hold up, baby. Let me let me get the. Yes. Thank you. Right, that morning face in the afternoon. I hope we answered your question, Jeff. Yes. For the purpose of rice, if you do want to enjoy rice, um, then you would want to use some type of whole grain rice, something that has that's more nutrient dense than a white enriched rice that's been stripped of its uh, of its nutrients. Because some brown Hi, rices Mama. also have Hi, um, different additives. So. <coughs> there you go. Give it to them. Enjoy. enjoy. Happy yeah. fall. Thank you for Thanks. coming. I like your sneakers. Thank you. Now we have here, let me get a glove, my love. We have here oh, oh. our. We're gonna be like, that is yeah. really good. Yeah. I'm gonna be at work like, hello, yeah. can yeah. I help hello. you? Hello. Is it Talking me to the you're kids. looking for? So I have my egg mixture that I'm gonna put into my pastry bag just to make the uh, you want a spoon, baby? the transfer. No, you know, you okay. know me. I know. Neanderthal? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I do wanna. wanna now, let's, uh, if I wanted to make a mess, how would I do that? Oh, mission accomplished. Well, you're welcome, Jeff. I, I really do hope that we helped you in some sort of way with your question. But yeah, we don't, when we do our sushis, we do eliminate anything that has to do with any And it's type super of rice. delicious. And, it's, and it's super, the super cucumber, delicious. The cucumber, you can't go wrong. And, um, and the, uh. What is the other one? Oh my lord, I don't know why I cannot remember this. Seaweed. The seaweed. We just have it wrapped in yes. seaweed and, and seaweed if they, if they can, they, sometimes they can do the sushi roll wrapped in cucumber. Yes, if they, if they can, taste. then you can just have the, the seaweed uh, wrap with cucumber as inside as a substitute for the rice. No, baby, if I was a knife. The dull knife or the The dull knife. knife. <laughs> the one and only, all right? So I have here my piping bag. Okay, let's move our let's move our dome out of the way. A Michael Myers. A Michael Myers dome. <laughs> where's uh Where's uh, Justin with his dome? Uh, All right, we're gonna fill it. our. Ooh. Nice. And this just makes it easy to transfer. You don't have to worry about spooning this. Actually, I'm gonna cut this. A little bit bigger, wider. just to make it. Thank you, you guys enjoy it. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, that's really good. You like? Simple, really easy, mama. All right, so we're going to, and we're gonna turn these into spiders. You have our olives, baby? You're welcome, Pammy. Yes, anything to help you guys, yes. Oh, uh, Ali says, hi, Alexis. Hi, how are you? Wait, she ha you haven't seen the Lexus. Come here. Mom. Come here. You look beautiful Mommy. and wonderful. And oh my goodness. everybody's got the morning look. Don't worry about it's it. It's afternoon. So morning, afternoon. It's 2020. If you're not ready to be online by uh, noon. No. Oh, Ali, she's over there. The Ali. Hi. There she is, Alexis. It's, it's all grown up. Look at all her. All grown up. <laughs> Alicia, come over so Ali can see you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's how quick and this, you can feel. And this is Alicia, my second notes. Do you remember? She was a little tiny, tiny thing. Mm. <laughs> now she's not. <laughs> They're all growing up, Addie. They're all grown up and left the coop, you know? So. <laughs> that shadow. Shadow. Now, 
<laughs> We're gonna turn these <laughs> into spiders. Oh, Ali, they're all like... What does that mean? Baby, let's turn these into spiders. You have our olives, baby? I do. We brought them out. Wonderful. While you work on the olives, I'm gonna make us a drink. And, uh... I need a better knife than your bone knife. I'm sorry. It's okay. No I'm gonna get a few right now, baby. I'm gonna get a few right now. <laughs> and so now if you have a drink or two, you're beyond the measure. And guys, you can share this. Don't be shy. Share. I mean, share this if you don't know anyone that uh, is interested in healthy cooking, a healthy eating lifestyle. anti-inflammatory yes. diet. Yes. Yes. Then definitely share this. Whatever kind of platform you like. Amen. Put a little splash of my vanilla in here. How'd you guess? You're gorgeous. I love it. You take that out, baby. Well, <laughs> no, he looks, I don't know. Look you, know you know style when you see it, right? <laughs> All right, beautiful, you know, baby. Now we can continue our party. You got? Okay. You got your olives. So yes. we bought some pitted Kalamata olives. And what we're going to do here is cut them into, into rounds and then cut them in half. Hey baby, cut them like this. Cut them in rounds. And then you can start making the spiders. Alright? Put three on each side. And again, you can do these in advance for your guests. We're doing them live it's here because, fun. you know, we want to show you how how quickly you can put this together. You saw how it's quickly. It's so fun with the kids, too. Using a piping bag. I'm going to try to be as creative as I can here. That's all right, my love. It's beautiful. <laughs> You're so supportive, hmm? my love. It's it, it, perfect. Somebody has a fan page. Really? So we're doing so. little spidey legs on our... <laughs> Deviled eggs here. All right, and so this is how easy you create. How about if I wanted to be a four-legged person? All right, then. Uh, you know. Yeah, but then you can put as many le as many legs as you like, baby. I think just the legs are. Imagine like that. All right. And then you have your spider double legs. Oh, the little spider. Spidey. Mm. Mira, I don't eat olives Mira. Cha -cha. or egg whites. But I prefer these. I love the filling. Mm. So when I do double yeah, legs, after I make oh, them all. I love the way he just stuffed that egg <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> what is go. Let's go. Mom, Shadow's about to eat all your food. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, wants to, she wants to join in the keto family. Mom, when I make double legs, I just. The what? Imagine mm. she jumps on the grill and then... Mm. <laughs> She'd be charcoal. <laughs> all right, so we're going to assemble all of these. But like I said, you can make these in advance for your guests. You have your jalapeno Talia. poppers ready to go. You can be creative, You mommy. have Look your you can make these for mommy. keto double or, eggs ready to go. Mm. Halloween. They're yummy. Next weekend. Oh, all right. Cook. You can You're also turn you these if you don't want to do them as spiders. Spider. I don't know See? how to do that. What? You're going to learn. We're teaching you right now. Right here. You can also Look at turn that. these. Look, isn't it cute? See what Gigi did? It's cute. Look at that. All right, so that, that we have a spider, but we can also turn these into eyeballs, all right? You can just do a round on top of as an eyeball. And then you can use a little bit like sriracha or hot sauce to draw on the egg white and turn them into an eyeball as well, all right? So these are going to be your spooky Halloween. Deviled eggs. Move this off to the side, my queen. All right, who wants to try Gigi? Try Gigi's spider. I'm going to pass these down so they can start tasting deviled eggs. Try Gigi's spider. Thank you very much. Let us know what you think. <clears throat> and you want more yeah. black olives? Let me know. I can cut up some mm. more. Now we're going to get into our last recipe. Is this Toma. almost, baby? Yes. We're going to get into our last recipe. Okay. Guys, did you see that? Mmm. It's just a little bit of paprika. Ali says the color of the eggs looks very vibrant. Thank you very much. So about that, you want to go get our eggs from the fridge? Yeah. Thank you. About that, you know, 
buying healthy, high quality eggs is expensive. I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. But it is so, so, so worth it, okay? Because when you buy, you can put it right there, please. Thank you, enjoy. When you buy regular eggs, like, you know, just not sustainably um, harvested eggs, uh, they're, they're gonna be, not have all nutrient dense. So if you can't get certified humane raised eggs, um, then you want to at least get organic eggs. There's a lot of marketing terms that throw people off, cage-free, pasture-raised, all these different terms. Sometimes they don't mean anything, but what you wanna do, if possible, if it says certified humane um, raised on the package, that's what you wanna go with, or if you can't find that, then you at least wanna get organic so that you know that they're not being fed any hormones, any pesticides, any things like that, that they have an actual high-quality diet. All right, even if they don't have great living conditions, at least they have a high quality diet. So yes, thank you. That's a very keen observation. So we buy these. Um, you want me to bring the other ones? Yeah. I only saw this one. This fine. So these, we have one pack that we buy that says Certified Humane. These say organic, all right? But ultimately with eggs, you get what you pay for. If you're not able to buy high quality eggs, no judgment here. I've done dirty keto, I've, I've feasted on many, many dozens of just regular eggs but you definitely want to focus on high quality <laughs> eggs call me <laughs> delicious now cheers baby cheers. i love you yeah, it's a beautiful sunday mm -hmm. it's our halloween party we're about to mm -hmm. halloween and now we're about to make halloween before the halloween before the halloween we we're got a kickstart to... anyone <laughs> we got a kickstart to this one you want to be um, guys, thank you, thank you so much. Time. We're about to make our sh shrimp. Everybody's uh, complimenting our, our costume. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Creative director here. <laughs> I said to you, if I look good, it's her fault. Ven aquí, mi amor. Dame el napkin. Pardon me. mess? No, a little bit. <laughs> the phantom is a mess. Hey, Chris. What up, Chris? How you doing? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Who are you guys playing today? Sorry for the interruption. Oh, that's here. right. You already beat us? That's all right. We're going to get a better draft pick than you. I love you, brother. That's Thank our you. good. That's our Thank buddy, you. Chris. He's a devout Eagles fan. We're Giants fans. So we have the most fun, healthy banter all week. And this week, the Eagles beat the Giants, but that just gets us a better draft pick. So take that. Now, we're about to make our spicy. Monster brain. Okay, so I have our bowl here. Where's our dome, honey? Got it. Thank you. All right, let me get my cast iron skillet on. We'll move this off to the side. We'll move our canela off to the side. Beautiful. This is the new Michael Myers. The new Michael Myers. <laughs> All right, now we have our cast iron skillet. We're gonna get that super hot. We made our bowl here for our for our monster brain. Okay, while our pan's getting hot, we're gonna so put tell together. So how are gonna make the monster brain? Absolutely. We have some shrimp. We're gonna season our shrimp with some chipotle puree. You can use cayenne. You can and use hot sauce. And again, the recipe and the ingredients are gonna be all listed below. If you don't like up. spicy. You don't have to use chili. These are not gonna be overly spicy, but if you don't like spicy, you don't have to use chili. You can use um, some, some some garlic powder, just some uh, some lemon juice, some salt and pepper, uh, you know, some whatever it is that you like. <clears throat> and I'm gonna season these up. Let me gra grab a glove just to keep that it. That just goes well with your costume, my you love. You like that, baby? Yeah, I think you planned that right. very well. So, with our avocado oil right here. Here, hold this. I have some chipotle puree here. We puree this. We keep it in the refrigerator. Um, it comes I don't in think handy. They can see you. Let's All right. Bring it over. There you go. Bring it Drizzle over. Drizzle oil yes. all over. Don't be shy. 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 Thank you, honey. That's good. All right. We're gonna rub these. You can do this in advance. Get your shrimp marinated with your chipotle in uh, avocado oil because that has a high smoking point. So we're not gonna make our oil toxic in any way. Correct. All right, beautiful. Oh, 
our avocado oil is what we use when we deep fry, like when we made our uh, fried chicken. We had chicken keto and waffles a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that recipe, it's on our it's on our YouTube page, a page about that keto life. Is it episode four? Oh, I don't know, but it's definitely is it there. Episode four. Today's five, seven. It is on the YouTube. Today's episode seven. And stay tuned for Monday. Monday. Tomorrow night we have a special edition in, yes. in, in South Florida, Miami nights. We have a real sexy menu. We're going to tell you about that before this episode is over. So you want to stay tuned. And we have lots okay. of, lots of, lots of amazing surprises coming so up along the way. So as soon as the show is over, we have to make a dash. Yes, for the airport. Now, while our pan is heating up, we're going to show you a super easy and quick keto cocktail sauce. So let me grab these ingredients, honey. Let's see who has any questions here. Thank you guys. Thank you all for sharing today and thank you for joining us. And your support is always appreciated and it doesn't go unnoticed without you guys. Support and motivation, you know, this will and keep going. So we do appreciate you always. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have here some sugar-free ketchup. There's different brands out there. You definitely want to look at the ingredients, you know. You know what? I never knew. <laughs> I never knew there was a sugar-free ketchup for real. So some products out there actually use like sugar alcohol. I mean, there's a alcohols. lot of sugar-free stuff, but I just didn't think mm -hmm. of a sugar-free ketchup. Because I'm not a ketchup person. I, I don't like a lot of seasonings in my food. I like to eat them just the flavors when you cook them. I don't like barbecue sauce on my ribs. I don't like that added stuff. So the ketchup, it just threw me off when he said it's a sugar-free ketchup. Absolutely. But you want to look at the ingredients because some sugar-free or no sugar products actually use sugar alcohols and so when you ingest that they separate and you still uh, have Monday, sugar. Uh, Adrian, um, after uh, about I think seven o'clock we'll be doing our live show, seven yes. or eight o'clock. We'll, we'll be talking more about that at the end. We'll be talking more about it at the end, all right? <laughs> but good question. We'll be talking more about a Miami episode later on. Let's get into this cocktail sauce real yes. quick, baby, so we can wrap up. We have here our uh, sugar-free ketchup. Like I said, some sugar, you want to look at the ingredients because some ketchups use sugar alcohol, so it winds up being sugar once it goes in your body. This one has a little bit of sucralose. We'll talk about it at the end. Yes, which we're not that big of a fan of, but again, we're not the keto police, so you know you can use whatever products you know, you're know you okay with. So we have some sugar-free ketchup. Whoops. We got a little bit well, of the sauce. Well, she could have been meant what time is our flight or what time is the show. Um, our flight is going to be like at 6 o'clock in the afternoon, but we have to drive almost two hours to get there, so. All right, we have a little bit of prepared horseradish here, and then a little bit of hot sauce. And this is going to, let me get a, a fork, baby. Yes, my love. <laughs> Thank you. And where did I drop my cap? It's Justin, okay. where's your Michael Myers? Where's your, where's your scary costume at? <laughs> so here we have our keto cocktail sauce. Yes. Mm. All right. Really and good. that's how quick. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. I would need it a bit more spicy. Yeah, here, we need, we need some more horseradish <clears throat> for our taste. There's a recipe down below. But we're just going to eyeball this just to show you how quickly. And this is the a cocktail sauce. sauce. Yep. A little hot sauce. That. A little salt. And we're pepper. using uh, kind of salt. Kind uh, of salt. Pink we Himalayan. Use, yes, pink Himalayan salt. So I got my cast iron pan nice and hot. And then we also do our own peppercorns. I mean, we crush them ourselves. We have this little... Buy whole black peppers, get a little spice grinder, yeah, little coffee grinder. Yeah, we got a spice grinder, grinder and we um, grind our own And grind peppers. your own peppercorns. It's more affordable. It tastes a lot better than buying pre-ground uh, coffee. So watch it, baby. I'm about to saute it right And it'll right last oh, a watch while. It, Step back. Yes, my love. So we got our pan nice and smoke, and I'm gonna add my avocado oil. You wanna get your shrimp here. Ah. Leah, give a smoke, Leah. Give a smoke, Leah. All right, thank you. It's fun. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful shrimp too, baby. So again, we're going to season this with some salt and pepper. Mm. 
And at first, we're gonna let that saute for a couple of minutes. We're gonna get that a little flip. We're gonna put that into our brain head. And, and this we're gonna, is gonna be the sauce. The this sauce. is the blood. This is the brain blood for our shrimp brain. All right. Just little so, things to incorporate and be creative during the season, during this holiday, um, Halloween season, right? Exactly. Simple so little things. We made our cocktail sauce using our sugar-free ketchup. Fun. Some horseradish, make some horse sauce, you know, and hot make sauce. it fun. You can be creative, make it fun, you know. We brought you this, but you can add your own taste and your own creativity to it, of course. Now, if you're vegan, you can use the exact same thing doing roasted or sauteed cauliflower, okay? You can cut up some cauliflower. Uh, the sauce here is vegan. Oh, yes, especially with the cauliflower because it has those absolutely. little... Absolutely, yeah, those little florets. Look, it, looks like, it looks they like it looks like the bread. Like, so you can yes. you can use a, the, the chipotle, you can use some harissa, you can use some cayenne, some paprika, some cumin, whatever type of spices look you like. That, and you can roast up cauliflower till it's nice uh, and golden or you can saute mm -hmm. it up, same as we're doing with the shrimp, and then have a nice vegan spooky there monster you go. brain. How about now? For, uh, <laughs> Sorry. For, uh, how do you know Mr. Michael Myers was in the way? <laughs> yes, because <laughs> he would be. Yes. It he would delicious. be. Now, it smells good. good, yes. Let me grab my towel. Sorry, Elizabeth, yes. <laughs> Elizabeth, so here, here are those shrimp that you want to She said, see. mueve la cabeza, la cabeza de <laughs> M.M. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. And so our shrimp are about to be done. Our cocktail sauce is ready. Our drink is ready. So while this finished cooking up, let's tell you about Monday night. We're gonna be in Miami. We're gonna be on live around, it's gonna be a surprise. It's gonna be around 7.30, 8 o'clock. We have a special uh, keto presentation that we're doing in Masterclass. And we're gonna be coming to you with a real sexy, too far away. We're gonna be coming to you with a real sexy keto Latino cocktail party. We're making well, we're making ceviche, which we made last week on our Caribbean party for our friends. So if you haven't seen that recipe, check out, our, it's on our uh, on our YouTube, YouTube channel, Bata channel. Keto Life, yeah. our Caribbean party. We did ceviche and a few other things. But we're going to be making ceviche for our friends and, 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 and live. Like we're going to be making, people. no, we're making biste con tostones. We're making keto tostones, keto Stay fried tuned. plantains, all right? Evening. So, so. You do not want to miss that episode, all right? We have a few, oh, should we tell them what we're drinking? Yes. We're going to be having a keto, yes, of course. a piña keto, colada. keto mezcal piña colada. We're going to have for dessert some <laughs> velvety, sexy keto chocolate mousse and whipped cream. Mm. So you want to stay tuned for Listen, that episode, all right? I can't wait to get there. We can't wait to feel that heat. All right, that so. Miami heat. <laughs> so. Our way. Exactly. So our shrimp are ready to go into the brain. Wow. You like that, baby? Yes. All right, I'm going to lift this up. You like up. shrimps, Leah? Oof, can wait. I'm going to lift this, this up here. Yes. Let's move this pan out the way. Leave it right there, the brain, for a okay. second. All wow. right, now, we're about to wrap up because we got a flight to catch. And I'm going to... Fill the brain. There, there is my spoon. So guys, if you're just joining us, uh, we have a spectacular. A spectacular keto, keto, keto Halloween, party. Halloween party. We have here our rice cooker pot wrapped in foil with our mask. Just a little creativity, which we know we just grab stuff and then we can use we this have for a, this. And a bowl. Why not? A clear why not? serving bowl no need that to we're going to put in there. Money, you know? Exactly. The kids can get Use involved what you in this. Use have at home and be creative. I know a lot of our viewers are very creative. Right, Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Beautiful. So there we have... And this little Michael M.M. My Michael Myers mask, you know, we just found it at a regular Walgreens. Yeah, because, or a dollar yeah, store dollar or something, store like, something that. like that. And there you have... Look at the I smoke. Think I it at Look at the smoke yes. coming out the brain. Look at the this smoke, is... baby. Look at the smoke coming out the brain. All right? So we have our now you put acid, yeah. cocktail sauce, sauce yes. and just pour first it on me. Taste, no, first we're going to taste this. It's a dipping sauce, baby. Mm. Mm, so good. Mm. You don't need no damn sauce. It doesn't. 
<laughs> We're just going to add it for fun. That's good, all right? But <laughs> just going to add some sauce Again, you can make this in advance, or as your Ooh. guests arrive, you can have the, the chilled uh, shrimp brain ready to go. Serve it with your mm. keto. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. That is yummy. That's yummy. I yeah, guess it does so need the sauce. It does need. <laughs> I guess it does need the sauce. We, we stand corrected. We, we, we prefer with the sauce, so. Mm. It just depends on your taste. Mm. But that is good. Mm. Pour it on, baby. Make yeah. it look like a brain. Take the brain. Show the audience what it looks like with the sauce, baby. You oh, yeah. Pour the sauce on it. No, 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 baby. It's a dipping sauce, my love. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know me. I'll just like. I know, I know. <laughs> but some people know. may not just, want it. Just, just go for it. Just Some people may not in. want it. So that's the blood. <laughs> but if you want to, you know, coat your shrimp because that's what you like, by all means, make it your own. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Monday night, for a special edition from Miami that we'll be doing our keto Latino party. You don't want, you're not, you're, you're not gonna want to miss that uh, that episode. Yeah. Um, it's been so, so much tune fun. Tune in. If not, if you cannot join us live, we'll be there. YouTube us yeah. and watch us later. We have a full scheduled day, and then we are on for <laughs> a full scheduled day. That's what we gotta full. run. <laughs> and uh, as well, if you know anybody that's interested in, uh, in losing weight and a healthier lifestyle and a low carb uh, lifestyle, maybe they have some issues with uh, heart issues, off? diabetes or anything like that, you can absolutely feel free to share this um, as well as our content. Um, what was I going to say? This drink is good. It is. It is. I'm, I'm, uh, we're so we're thankful that you joined us. No, we we're, we're thankful in general because you guys support us every Sunday without any mess. Love you. you Thank like it? you. I got you like thumbs it? up from my Leah, my granddaughter. See, thumbs so the family's up, eating. So that's a good the family's thing. eating the the, the, the And I love brain. that they come and join us every Sunday and support us. So that's a lovely thing, and it's yeah, it's very supportive. We appreciate that. We, we appreciate, appreciate all you. of you guys uh, tuning in. Like I said, we'll see you tomorrow for a very special episode. You like? I didn't try it. Yet. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dive in. Dive in, whatever you need. Take well, thank it. you so much for joining us on this happy Sunday. Again, the recipes are down below. Um, if you have, if, listen, if you try any of these recipes at home uh, for this Halloween, send please comment send below, us. send us pictures, yes. tag us. We'd like love we to see. Had, we just had my daughter and a longtime friend of mine, Tammy, recreate um, our from pizza Houston, party. And recreate, and they did it in. That same day, the which same I found day, we got messages that was that post ironic awesome thing. that they both were doing July? keto pizza. Yeah, July? so, and they sent yeah. us pictures and uh, show us yeah. you know, how so, they made it. And from scratch, the sauce. Pammy made her own, own marinara, sauce. How we talked about sauce. in the show. So that's amazing. So, that yeah. really, really, really is heartwarming to us when we see people like so. uh, take this Very and so. like, just Very make so. it their own and run with it so. and then be happy with it as well. We really, so really love that. <laughs> We love you guys. Love Thank you, guys. you again for joining us. Mwah. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be Peace. back tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow night. Peace, my love. Adios, mi amores. Like it? Uh-huh.